what's up what's up car hacks for auto repair now this video is about lexus's uh lexus with the batteries dying now i've done videos on the batteries dying before but this one is just about the lexus uh this is a problem i've had personally uh, with a family member of mine I was having a problem with the lexus been in and out of the shop battery dying and we were able to solve the problem now i didn't work on the car myself but i took part in helping the mechanic uh figure out the problem now a lot of Lexus have this problem. You replace the battery, you replace the alternator multiple times, you know, battery multiple times and shop and, and, and people just cannot figure out what's going on with the car. Now, like I said, I've had this problem before on all the cars. Sometimes it ends up being the uh, glove box light, the trunk light, the light under the hood, you know, certain lights that you can't see. Like uh, somebody sent me a comment on the battery video the other day. They said, thank you, thank you, thank you for helping me out so much, man. It was my glove box light. I checked the switch in my glove box, I opened the glove box, and I pushed that switch. The light was staying on, the light would not go off. So he couldn't find a switch, so he just pulled the bulb out, and then it solved his problem. His battery stopped, stopped now. You know, you can't see. Anyway, that was in another car. <laughs> so the problem with the Lexus now, like I mentioned in the other battery dying video, parasitic bugs. Parasitic bugs is something that will stay on in the car, like a, like a software update uplink that, that keeps trying to update itself. You know, you let the car sit for a day or two at a time and then the car will not start because the parasitic bug or the uplinks from the data uh, will be, we're we'll, we'll trying to be, uh, update the software in the car and it will kill the battery. Now what happened in the Lexus, this is exactly what was going on in the Lexus and this is why the shops cannot figure out this problem. This is a hard problem to find out. It was the GPS. Now, now like I said, I didn't fix it myself. We weren't able to figure out exactly what the problem was but the mechanic disconnected the GPS and then it solved the problem. The battery stopped dying, the car's been sitting for two, three days, go out and start it and the car will start. So that is the problem on the Lexuses. Now I'm not going to say that this is 100% my problem with every Lexus battery that's dying, but in this particular case, this solved our problem. And this seems to be what has been the problem with most of these Lexuses. You got the, the GPS that's somehow staying on. You got software updates uh, uh update updates <laughs> updates and uplinks and all that trying to update the software and it was staying on so now i'm not sure if the dealer's going to do that for you they're just going to disconnect you know they're going to want to fix the problem they're going to want to say hey we got we got to replace this module and all this stuff's going to cost you eight hundred dollars and all that just see if they can disconnect it for you maybe that will solve your problem once again this is willie really car hacks failed repair I mean, this has been a video value Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and follow. I'm glad I can help some of you guys out with these crazy, crazy problems. Some of you guys have some weird problems, but I'm helping you guys solve those problems with sometimes with no money. So, you know, once again, I'm glad I can help you guys. This is why I started this, man. You know, stay up. Uh, do you, man. Have a good one.